it's Thursday. That means it's time for another edition of Ask Ellen. So this week, Barry asks, how much does one inch of rain equal in snow? I love this question. We get this from time to time. We actually use this in our school talks from time to time as well. So here's the simplified answer. Just the bottom line. Usually, one inch of rain equals about 10 inches of snow. So if you think about this, it's actually kind of wild because it means if you have an event like this and you have 0.28 inches up near Comstock Park, almost 0.6 inches of precipitation near Hastings and almost 0.7 inches of rain in Dwajak, that would be seven inches of snow, six inches of snow, and then close to about three inches of snow up to Muskegon just from this event in the last 24 hours. But if you think about it, tiny shifts in the forecast track could mean big changes in how much snow you see, right? So usually it's only our farmers that mind that much if they're shorted by 0.2 inches of rain. But we hear a lot more feedback when a storm system shifts by a small amount and that 0.2 inches of liquid precipitation ends up cutting them down by about two inches of snow. So if your snow forecast was for four inches and instead you got two, sometimes you feel like you were shorted. And it's just because the precipitation really compounds the error, right? So this becomes a challenge for us as forecasters sometimes. We have to watch for the forecast track and we also have to watch to see what errors are possible because oftentimes we get snow systems that deliver snow in stripes. So if this system were to change by just 30 miles, that would mean spots like Muskegon and Big Rapids would see zero inches of snow. Grand Rapids would be shorted by a good three inches and then Kalamazoo would be cut down from eight inches down to about six or four. So again, I started with the simplified answer, but get this, one to 10 is the simplified overarching baseline, but it's not what actually always happens in the atmosphere. The colder the atmospheric temperature, the bigger the ratio. So oftentimes, even here in West Michigan, one inch of water or rain, liquid precipitation, will equal 15 inches of snow, or sometimes one inch of rain will equal 30 inches of snow. So again, if it's off by a small amount, it can have big, big ramifications. That's why, again, we go to school for four years yeah. so that we can <laughs> forecast these differences. Yeah, that is a good question. Good answer, too. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Ellen. And if you have a question that you want to ask Ellen, you can send it over to the 7 at woodtv.com.